Hey, this is Ryan, founder of ZBrush Workshops. I want to talk to you a little bit about something we talk about in our facial ecorche sculpting workshop. The link for the workshop is in the description down below. But what I want to share with you today is the masseter muscle. The masseter muscle for beginners is always a little bit of a mystery. You have to keep in mind that the masseter muscle is going from the angle of the jaw all the way to the cheek. So it's this diagonal line heading that way. And one of the things that beginners miss is that the zygomatic bone becomes a plane change. So if you're looking at the face from below, like this, the zygomatic bone basically cuts across like here. And then that's a transition plane for the face. And then it will start to cut backwards. So it cuts backwards in, in towards the ear. You can see this on mod, uh, actors like a Kira Knightley, really strong jaw. And so the, the place where you see the plane change, so that you're looking at my face right now, and you're trying to find where the uh, face ends, basically, from a front view. So you're going to say about right here, maybe. And then if you look at it from below, you'll see that that actually curves around and in. There's even more of it. So from a side view, you might put that the place where the face ends back here. But in actuality, you need to move it forward to here. That's where the face ends from a front view. And then you have all of this left to sculpt. That's something that we miss. But that's something that we cover in the uh, facial ecorche sculpting workshop. So make sure you check out the link down below. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you've experienced similar problems with the mass or muscle uh, or the side of the face or if that information helps you. So good luck with your sculpting.